Experiment Log 1258, Audio Recordings Note, please be sure to include your name, the date, and duration of the recording on all records. Name, Dr. T. Date, slash slash 199 Duration, 2 minutes and 47 seconds Dr. T. is heard reciting an adaptation of the poem Der Erlkenig by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Control Tape, Dr. T. reads the poem in its entirety. SCP-1250-1 Tape, the poem is read in its native German by an unidentified voice. Name, Dr. Edwards Date, 03-2000 Duration, 26 minutes and 19 seconds A television in the background plays a syndicated episode of the popular children's show Redacted. Control Tape the episode follows a character named Billy as he helps a close friend plan an important birthday party. SCP-1250-1 Tape This episode follows the same Billy attempting to try out for the school basketball team. Curiously there are no commercial breaks, and a portion of the same episode plays again before the tape is stopped. Name, Dr. T. Date, 09-200 Duration 14 seconds Dr. T introduces himself by saying, Hello, I'm T. It's a pleasure to meet you. Control tape, Dr. T says the above greeting. SCP-1250-1 tape, 1 a female voice says the greeting. The first name is replaced with Emily instead of. SCP-1250-1 tape, 2 a series of loud beeps and clicks play for the duration of the recording. There is no recognizable pattern. SCP-1250-1 Tape, 3 Dr. T is heard attempting to say the greeting. He sounds very weak, and takes several labored breaths after every few words. He does not finish the greeting before the recording ends. SCP-1250-1 Tape, 4 Two separate voices say the greeting. They are very stoic, and they speak in perfect unison. Neither voice can be identified as that of Dr. T. SCP-1250-1 Tape, 5 The tape sounds as though it is immersed in water. A light tapping can be heard somewhere nearby. SCP-1250-1 Tape, 6 A crowd of people can be heard murmuring in the room. All of the voices appear to be uttering the greeting, though it is impossible to tell if Dr. T is among them. SCP-1250-1 Tape, 7 Dr. T is heard counting down from 14, reaching 0 just as the recording ends. SCP-1250-1 Tape, 8 The tape is entirely silent for the 14 second duration. Name, DR, with Dr. T monitoring. Date, slash 11 slash 200 duration, 8 minutes and 4 seconds DR interviews Mr. Several times during the interview, DR will randomly hold up a card with a simple drawing on it, and ask Mr. to describe what he sees. A total of seven cards were held up during the course of the interview. It's important to note that aside from the card results, both interviews were the same. Control tape, Mr. S responses to the image cards, cat, airplane, flower, barn, teddy bear, horse, apple. SCP-1250-1 Tape, Mr. S responses to the image cards, pencil, window, swan, tree, airplane, bus, moon. All responses given were for cards that did exist in the deck. Name, Dr. Edwards, with DR performing. Date, 6-2006 Duration, 11 minutes and 2 seconds DR was asked to play Moonlight Sonata on an old grand piano. He has very little experience playing the instrument. Control tape, DR hits several bum notes, and reattempts several sections of the song to correct mistakes. He politely asks to stop playing after attempting for over 10 minutes, and the recording is ceased by Dr. Edwards. SCP-1250-1 Tape, 1DR handles the instrument flawlessly, playing with considerable grace and receives a roaring applause from the other researchers present. In the place of Moonlight Sonata, the song played by DR is unknown. SCP-1250-1 Tape, to a single note is played in two-second intervals until 9 minutes and 9 seconds.
No other sounds can be heard for the remainder of the recording. Name, Dr. Carter Date, slash slash 200 duration, 8 minutes and 6 seconds Dr. Carter calmly asks questions regarding the nature of SCP-1250, SCP-1250-1, and SCP-1250-2. Control Tape, Dr. Carter asks the aforementioned questions. SCP-1250-1 Tape, 1 Dr. Carter can be heard talking, though he is very muffled, almost as if he were speaking from the other side of a wall. The nature of his speech is entirely indecipherable. SCP-1250-1 Tape, 2 Allowed, atonal screeching emanates from the tape for the entire duration of the recording. Name. Dr. T. Date, slash slash 2009 duration, 45 minutes and 3 seconds 3 tapes were left to record an empty room for 45 minutes. Control tape, Dr. T. is heard exiting the room as the recording begins. Apart from a nearby door being closed at 27 minutes and 1 second, the recording is entirely silent until Dr. T.'s return at 44 minutes and 51 seconds to end the recording. SCP-1250-1 Tape, 1 Dr. T is heard exiting the room as the recording begins. Infrequently, a light shuffling can be heard to the direct left. At 5 minutes and 2 seconds heavy, deliberate footsteps are slowly heard approaching from the left and continuing on past the empty room to the right. They can no longer be heard at 24 minutes and 44 seconds, and the shuffling ceases at this point. Dr. T re-enters the room at 45 minutes and 16 seconds to end the recording. SCP-1250-1 Tape, 2 Dr. T is heard exiting the room as the recording begins. At 13 minutes and 8 seconds a loud crash is heard coming from the right. Another loud crash occurs at 16 minutes and 2 seconds, and an even louder one at 19 minutes and 17 seconds. Something begins pounding on the wall in the hall outside the empty room at 26 minutes and 20 seconds and continues to do so with a consistent intensity. The door to the empty room is heard being torn from the frame at 44 minutes and 10 seconds as something proceeds to thrash it around the room. The tape cuts off at 45 minutes and 3 seconds. Experiment Log 1250B, Video Recordings Note Please be sure to include your name, the date, and duration of the recording on all records. Due to the omission of audio by SCP-1250-2 video samples, all descriptions provided should cover only what is seen during the control tapes, not what is heard. Name, DR and DR date, slash slash 199 duration, 43 seconds DR pitches a baseball to DR from a distance of 15 meters. Control tape. DRS bat is seen making contact with the ball, sending the ball flying far past the view of the camera. DR claps in response to the home run. SCP-1250-2 tape, DR is seen stifling a cough, delaying the pitch by 4 seconds. DRS bat is seen making contact with the ball, resulting in a foul. Name, Dr. T. Date, slash slash 1997 duration. 2 hours 16 minutes and 25 seconds 3 cameras were pointed at a television playing the contents of another SCP-1250-2 sample. The contents of this sample included a data expunged. Control tape, the contents of the original SCP-1250-2 sample are seen clearly on the screen. SCP-1250-2 tape, 1 the tape came out blank, having recorded no material. SCP-1250-2 Tape, 2 The tape came out blank, having recorded no material. Name, DR and DR Date, Slash Slash 199 Duration, 13 minutes and 24 seconds 2 cameras were set on a small table in the middle of a large concrete room, facing in opposite directions. Control Tape, the room remains empty, and nothing occurs for the entire duration of the film. SCP-1250-2 Tape, a series of empty cans are thrown from behind the camera toward the wall by an unseen individual. This action persists for the entire duration of the recording. Name, Dr. Carter Date, slash slash 2006 Duration, 
Seven seconds Dr. Carter set up a group of 13 cameras to record him rolling a pair of six-sided dice. Control tape, dice result, 11 SCP-1250-2 tape, 1 dice result, 3 SCP-1250-2 tape, 2 dice result, 9 SCP-1250-2 tape, 3 dice result, 16 SCP-1250-2 tape, 4 dice result, 5 SCP-1250-2 tape, 5 dice result, 108 SCP-1250-2 tape, 6 dice result, A with ring above SCP-1250-2 tape, 7 dice result, 4 SCP-1250-2 tape, 8 dice result, 0 SCP-1250-2 tape, 9 dice result, 7 SCP-1250-2 tape, 10 dice result, 3 fourths SCP-1250-2 tape, 11 dice results, 2 SCP-1250-2 tape, 12 dice results, redacted name, Agent H. With Dr. Carter and Dr. T monitoring. Date, slash slash 200 duration, 23 seconds Agent H was asked to fire 3 shots at personnel D32907 using his M9, from a distance of 22.5 meters. The agent was also asked to intentionally try and avoid hitting D329071 during the experiment, though this information was not shared with the subject. Control tape, the first two shots miss the subject. The third strikes him directly in the right shoulder, the subject clutching at the wound and reeling in pain before the recording ends. SCP-1250-2 tape, 1 all three shots miss the subject without incident. SCP-1250-2 tape, 2 all three shots contact with the subject's chest and abdomen, knocking them to the floor. SCP-1250-2 tape, 3 Agent H is seen standing directly behind D32907, with his firearm pressed against the backside of the subject's head. He fires a single shot, killing the subject instantly, and stares at the camera for the remainder of the recording. SCP-1250-2 tape, 4D32907 is replaced with a specimen of redacted. Agent H is killed during the ensuing conflict. Name, Dr. T. Date, slash slash 200 duration, 9 hours 14 minutes and 36 seconds 4 cameras were left overnight in front of a television blaring static. Control tape, the static is consistently seen for the duration of the tape. SCP-1250-2 tape, 1 in place of the static, stock footage of spiders is seen. The majority of the footage focuses on the spiders capturing and eating prey. SCP-1250-2 tape, 2 in place of the static, black, and white footage of a deceased elderly man is seen. He sits slumped in a chair next to an ornate lamp, in a room devoid of any other furniture. At 5 minutes and 6 seconds his body begins falling to pieces, starting from the top down. This process is subtle at first, as it takes up until 9 hours and 12 minutes to fully complete and is more easily observed when the footage is sped up. SCP-1250-2 tape, 3 the television is off, and a lamp behind the camera can be seen in the television's reflection. A silhouetted figure is seen passing through the reflection on occasion. Name, Dr. T. Date, slash slash 200 duration, 6 hours 28 minutes and 38 seconds 6 cameras recorded several minutes of a Little League baseball game in Aberdeen, Maryland. Control tape, children play Little League baseball. One team wears light blue jerseys while the other team wears yellow jerseys. SCP-1250-2 tape, one identical to control, except that a particular player wears the uniform number 8 instead of 6 per the control recording. SCP-1250-2 tape, two identical to control, except that a female spectator to the game has been replaced by Lana Neal. SCP-1250-2 tape, three identical to control, except that the position and orientation of the shadows of objects shown in the recording suggests the presence of more than one sun-like source of illumination. SCP-1250-2 tape, four rules of game appear to have changed, 
pitcher and fielding team seem to be throwing the ball at the batter's head with intent to injure, following which the batter chases the pitcher around the field, attempting to beat him with the bat. Umpire, coaches and spectators appear to regard this behavior as normal. SCP-1250-2 tape, 5 identical to control, except that game participants and spectators appear to be reciting a prayer to Dabag, Slavic pagan sun god, in the old church Slavonic language while playing. Name, Dr. T with redacted date, slash slash 2010 duration, 1 hour 12 minutes and 1 second 24 hours prior to this experiment, Dr. T was the victim of an unfortunate car crash, and was rushed to hospital, under foundation custody. Dr. T had previously asked to have his final moments captured on tape by SCP-1250-2, in the event of a fatal injury or terminal illness. Control tape, Dr. T remains motionless in his hospital bed for the duration of the recording. Nurses are seen rushing in at 43 minutes and 5 seconds in response to his heart monitor flatlining. Despite their best efforts, Dr. T's heartbeat is not restored and he is pronounced deceased at 1 hour 9 minutes and 15 seconds. SCP-1250-2 tape, Dr. T is conscious during the initial portions of the recording, and is seen discussing something with one of the nurses before she exits the room at 25 minutes and 54 seconds. Dr. Carter is seen walking into frame at 43 minutes and 5 seconds, and quickly proceeds to smother his colleague with a nearby pillow. Dr. T struggles against the attempted suffocation, but he is easily overpowered by Carter, and falls still at 1 hour 9 minutes and 15 seconds. Dr. Carter exits the room following the confrontation, and is not seen for the remainder of the recording. Following the events of the above experiment, the project has been handed over to Dr. Carter. He has requested that no further SCP-1250-2 experimentation be performed for the time being. Experiment Log 12.